Was Arnold Schwarzenegger sexually interested in Ken Sprague? Objection, Your Honor. The attorneys jumped out of their seat. Everybody around. Objection! <laughs> Nobody talks about Ken. This is a guy that was running Gold's Gym in the golden era. Ken was also an adult movie star. They kind of kept it quiet because of, you know, his notoriety and what he was doing in his personal life. In 1976, he leaves Gold's and helps uh, Joe Gold start World Gym because World he Gym. was promoting oh, yep, it. Yep, yep, and yep. he brought all the bodybuilders over to World's Gym. It's the only one that they did. First edition is hardcover. Arnold says maybe it was just being surrounded by the best bodybuilders as in Gold's Gym now called World's Gym. They're only half a mile away but Gold's Gym is a race. Ken had to take Arnold to court and Joe Weider testified against Arnold. Gold's Gym is an outhouse. I thought this guy will stop at nothing. I sued Arnold for defamation <laughs> to let you know you had to let your adversary know that enough is enough. Don't you think that anybody else has a chance to beat you like Robbie Robbins? No, come on, Joe. You, know, you got to be more powerful than anything that can happen. happen, happen, happen. I think that Robbie's going to be the great black hope. <laughs> <laughs> if you let anything crack, just you don't. And he flipped it off. Everybody was like. So let's talk about Gold's Gym. Joe Gold owned Gold's Gym from 1965 till 1970. And then he decided to sell it. And then for the next two years, there were two guys, I don't remember the names, that owned it. And then they decided to give it away and sell it. And then 1972, and this was, I believe, May, uh -huh. Ken Sprague's buys gold. And oh, Gold's Gym. Yeah, so he has Gold's Gym until 1979. He sells it to Pete Grimkowski. Exactly. Yeah. He sold it to Pete Grimkowski. Yeah. Yeah. So Ken owns Gold's starting 1972 in May. And also Joe Weider moves his headquarters to LA in June 1972. So it was a perfect timing for both of them to, to connect. To connect with each other. Yeah. Started, yeah. So, so a lot Ken, of history. Yeah, a lot of history. Now, Ken, nobody talks about Ken. He's not mentioned anywhere by, like, he's not in the encyclopedia, he's not in Arnold's books, his name is nowhere. Literally. But this is a guy that was running Gold's Gym in the golden era. It's like they, in a way, they deleted his name from history. So, Ken, I want to talk for a moment about Ken, because Ken was also an adult movie star. Yeah. He was a business genius. Smart he, man. Very smart guy. He decided he to give the space of gold to anybody who wanted to shoot for magazines or movies, which mm -hmm. was Weeder's Muscle Builder or Pumping Iron. The only condition was to wear Gold's Gym t-shirt. Exactly. The way it was set up to promote it, I tell producers, if you need a, a place for gym location come on down to gold's you know use the facility free anytime you want to do a tv spot or a movie spot you go ahead and use it with one restriction have to have a gold's gym t-shirt <laughs> across the chest and then from that point on that propelled it into the general public and he was also in a pretty decent shape i mean this is ken he also competed mm -hmm. so this is you and arnold wearing the Gold's Gym tank top. Mm -hmm. And just a brilliant businessman. Now, in 1976, after Arnold won his sixth Mr. Olympia, the relationship between Joe Weider and Arnold, and as well Ken, 
kind of soured a little bit. Yeah. And uh, then Ken and Arnold had a power, a little clash. It was a little power clash because they were they were both promoting shows. Mm -hmm. Ken Sprague's were promoting shows, and Arnold was just getting started to promote. But at this point in time, Ken was more powerful yeah. and richer yeah. than Arnold. Exactly. And this did not go well with Arnold. Yeah. Arnold at that time was trying to make, of course, his name in the motion picture industry and. He wanted to market himself as the bodybuilding industry, which I can understand. And so Arnold would seem to be behind various initiatives to pull the legs out from under Golds in the Mr. America contest. In 1976, he leaves Golds and helps uh, Joe Gold start World Gym because World he was promoting yep, it. Yep, yep, and yep. he brought all the bodybuilders over to World's Gym. Pretty much, yeah. And uh, the only one that they didn't. And it got pretty it got pretty ugly because uh, Ken had to take Arnold to court and Joe Weider testified against Arnold. Yeah. Was Arnold Schwarzenegger sexually interested in Ken Sprague? Objection, Your Honor. The attorneys jumped out of their seat. Everybody around. Objection! <laughs> Don't answer that question. Well, of course Arnold wasn't. Arnold's attorneys knew that. Paramount Pictures attorneys knew that, what the strategy was, at least what my attorney's strategy was. Maybe he was just asking. So Arnold wants, and it could have been just a gratuitous comment, a, you know, flippant comment. He says, Gold's Gym is an outhouse to one of the media. It might have been an us or people. I can't remember. I know it made the national wire somehow, but Gold's Gym is an outhouse. I thought, this guy will stop at nothing. I sued Arnold and his employers at Golf and Western and Paramount Pictures went <laughs> down the line for defamation. <laughs> to let, you know, you had to let your adversary know that enough is enough. One was the Mike Douglas show and one was the Merv Griffin show. And when Arnold was on guest on both of those shows, he said that going from Gold's Gym to World Gym was like going from an outhouse to a penthouse. And that's when Ken had filed the lawsuit for slander and libel and defamation of uh, of character. Arnold, who was at that time, I believe, starting to date Maria Shriver, you know, the Kennedy Shriver family, she had a brother, Bobby Shriver, who was a writer for a newspaper in Los Angeles called the um, Herald Examiner. Well, Arnold says, hey, Bobby, write these articles about, um, you know, bad things about Gold's Gym, which Bobby Shriver did. That's when, you know, Ken Sprague said, enough is enough. You know, I'm not only going to sue Arnold, but I'm going to sue his employers, who at the time were Gulf Western, which owned Paramount Studios, because they were the ones investing in Arnold's movie career. People don't realize at one point that Arnold and Joe were on opposite sides of the fence. There was a court battle, and Joe Weider testified on behalf of Ken Sprague, because uh, Arnold was also at that time... Um, trying to leverage another magazine called Muscle Digest against Muscle Builder. They also don't know that, that Arnold last traded Golds in 76, and I don't think he returned to a Golds until probably maybe five years ago or so. I got all the receipts. I got all the books. Like you have Arnold, Education of a Bodybuilder. Education of a Bodybuilder, yeah. Here's what he's uh, choosing your gym. Here's what Arnold says. The gym should be cool. That's why I like World Gym in Santa Monica. It's close to the beach and fresh on the air. Where's Golds? This whole time I was thinking I had the first edition of Arnold's Education of a Bodybuilder. Well, I was wrong. I had the second. The first edition is hardcover. One of the OGs of Golds told me that uh, he was confused why Arnold said in his book that Golds did not exist. I was like, what are you talking about? Well, page 92. Arnold says, perhaps it was knowledge or better food or better you know what. If not these things, maybe it was just being surrounded by the best bodybuilders, as in Gold's Gym, now called World's Gym. Well, they're only half a mile away, but he says, as in Gold's, is gone. Gold's Gym is erased. As in Gold's Gym, now called World's Gym. Gets sued by Ken Sprague's. Second edition comes in. Page 92. Perhaps it was knowledge or better food or you know what. If not these things, maybe it was just being surrounded by the best bodybuilders as in Gold's Gym. So, first edition. As in Gold's Gym, now called World's Gym. Gold is gone. 
second edition is in Gold's Gym. Arnold has two encyclopedias. The first one, 1985, mm -hmm. the gym section, it says, if I haven't been there at Waller's gym with these other bodybuilders to inspire me and motivate me, I doubt that they would have ended being so productive. Most of top bodybuilders began their training somewhere else and migrated to places like World Gym. No goals gym. Now, 13 years later, he's a little bit more politically correct. He releases the second edition of Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding. Amazing. So now he goes, the section about the gym, he says, today it's relatively easy to find a well-equipped gym. World Gym, for example, has franchises all over the US and the world. Gold Gym has also numerous franchises. So he's mentioning it now. Mm -hmm. And then one more time, he goes, a lot of young bodybuilders this time come to train in places like World Gym or Gold's Gym. So it's interesting how he just changes the narrative. He's like, hey, I'm fighting against Ken Sprague's. There's no word no about way, no way, yeah. yeah, but uh, then later on, World Gym closes. Well, you know, Gold Gym was fine too. Yeah. And even Charles Gaines doesn't acknowledge Ken Sprague's in Pumping Iron. Okay. That, that's one more detail. Check this out. This is Pumping Iron, the book. And this is how they write about the owner of, uh, of Gold's. He says, Gold's Gym is the other one and it's doing fine out in Venice. The guy who owns Gold, I understand, doesn't need the money. So he basically refers to Ken, the guy that owns Gold is rich, but doesn't even mention his name. No. Nope. So where's Ken? Nobody talks about Ken. Ken was the owner of the gym at the time where everything was exploding. It was the best time in bodybuilding yeah, yeah. and nobody talks about Ken. Well, they, they kind of kept it quiet because of, you know, his notoriety and what he was doing in his personal life and yeah. the kind of person that he was. I liked him. I thought he was a funny guy. Yeah. Very business-like, smart and intelligent. Super smart. Super and brainy. also, uh, yeah. brainy. Yeah. So that's, uh, Ken and yeah. Arnold before they, yeah. they started to, Change to, everything. yeah. Um, Anyway, World Gym is gone and the gold is still here.